Uh, this is a goddamn shame. I was wanting to come down here and see what it was. It was really keeping people from down here. Since they made this stupid uh, curfew. So you got two security lights here. All the park lights are off. I a soul around. I was told it was you'd get a third degree uh, trespassing charge. Another one. If you were here after 11, I kind of expected cops to be maintaining this place at least for a couple of days. Maybe they were. I don't know. It's been a couple of days since I've been down here. Focus camera. Guess they got these joints pinned at every entrance. I'm surprised people are actually uh, respecting it. I mean, I kind of figured cops would be here. At least a couple of days just to make sure, and they might have been. But I also wouldn't expect them to actually have cops there every night. I mean, look at this bullshit. All because of a couple of fucking degenerates. Had to act a fool. All those times being stupid. Ruining it for everybody. And the fucked up thing is, you can go to just about any other park after 11 and you won't get a charge. Got recordings or whatever. That damn shame. Oh, look like I see a homeless person up there. Don't make any sense. I mean, all the other parks close at 11 in the city and they don't go through all this much effort. Hell. You know how many times I've been at the waterfront park after 11 o'clock and security don't even bat an eye? Or any other park. But nah. For some reason the skate park is special. You have to get a criminal charge if you're after 11. It's insanity. Of course, it wouldn't be an issue if the people themselves would act like they had some fucking sense. Not up there with Dracos and ARs and all that nonsense. I understand why they doing it. Oh fuck. I just don't like that they doing it. And personally I say fuck it. Well, they probably actively monitoring it more than the cameras that are already there. If those even work. Crazy. Really crazy. I 
way I see it is we should be able to be up there whenever the fuck we want to. But now the rest of us gotta suffer because a few stupid dumbasses wanna be up there and cause trouble. Petty, pointless trouble. And ruin it for everybody else who's just up there trying to have a good time and hang out. You're supposed to sacrifice the few for the many, not the other way around. But we know these morons don't care at all. No, sir. Yeah, this is sort of a spur of the moment video. I have a whole lot to talk about. I wanted to record my little trip on the way there, but it slipped my mind. So I recorded it while I just ran around a little bit. If you're wondering what that, uh, one of those camera trailer pods thing said, it said the park's closed, please return during business hours. If you want the park closed, they put a fence around it and a gate that can lock. If the entrances is open, then it should be open as far as I'm concerned. Now something's supposed to be closed with no any sort of gate or doors or impenetrable fencing that denotes something's actually being closed. There isn't none. You can just walk right up there. Just like the waterfront. If they want to close the waterfront, then wall it up. It's all nonsense. That I just don't abide. supposed to be a meeting coming up or I might have missed it already are they uh, going to pretend to listen to our opinions on what to do with the skate park I mean this is a city it's a skate park it's an urban area it is what it is Oh, there's graffiti and whatnot. It's the chill spot. And all you DJs are fucking it up for everybody else. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of scum people. Ruining shit for everybody else. Every time you turn around, some motherfuckers like school on Sunday is doing something up to no good. And then we all have to suffer about a tyranny of the government's choices. crazy. No, I've said that several times, but I'm basically just winging it here. I mean, if I'm, I'm bored and I want to go to the skate park, I should be able to. I'm surprised people ain't saying fucking and just going there anyway, honestly. Of course, most of the people I chill with usually leave 
either usually leave between 10 and 1 in the morning anyway. But that should be our choice. Growing up those rickety ass little trailer things up there. It's dumb. Last time I was up there, well, not the very last time, but the last time I was up there, there was an altercation. It was after that, uh, that it was during, uh, I think it was the last day of that freak nick or beat nick or whatever it was at the waterfront. And I almost didn't go, but I was bored because it was getting later and I was like, shit, people will still be down there anyway. I might as well go. It's been a while since I've been down there. So I rode down there like 10, 30, 11, I think it was. Apparently I missed some stuff. But while I was down there, there was some a group of girls that was fighting. Uh, somebody said when I was chilling with a buddy of mine that we had already missed like five fights. But these chicks fought like three times. And then uh, police showed up at some point and started getting people with those, uh, carrying those unnecessary rifles they don't need to carry down there. People need to learn what the word pragmatic means. Look it up in the dictionary and keep it in your head. And one of the guys got hemmed up by two cops and they was rushing them to the ground. And he managed to fight off one and push away the other. And while he did that, managed to get his gun back. And he said something to one of them and just casually walked away. And I admit, that was kind of funny. But still, don't need no degenerates. Oh, I can't stand 4th Street Live, tourist trap nonsense. It should still be the Galleria. Like if you like if you wish this was still the Galleria. Still wish we had a Sobreros. That's what I say. Nice to have us still have a support role. And that was actually kind of funny watching him do that. And, and the cop was getting roasted. But he was chill about it. He wasn't a dick. He was just firm about what he was trying to do. Which I can respect that. He wasn't like the rest of them losing their damn minds for no reason. has changed around here. I forgot what was even along that side. But that was what happened last time I was there and the cops were shooing us out. And we had to leave just because a couple other degenerates are there. See, I'm sick of that shit. Just make them leave. They're the ones that are dangerous to society and themselves a 5150. But I think that's all I got to say for now. Look at this. This poor guy could be at the skate park with his uh, electric uh, longboard. But nah, he can't. 
I can't with my bike. 11 o'clock. Bullshit, horse shit, cow shit, pig shit, bullshit, shit shit. Alright, I'm gonna probably post this somewhere. Like and subscribe, like people like to say. I know I could really use it. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Hopefully it might be a little bit better than this. I've got an idea of kind of how I want to do these videos. Where it's just, uh, if I could figure out how to do it and just do a voiceover. Over it. While I'm riding around. Like, moto vlog without the moto. I'm the moto. Alright. It's the Jack signing out.